So, Stardew Valley is a game that I thought it would be fun, so I have Steam open. I have 389 almost hours logged in. Um, and again, our goal was sleep through the first five days to unlock the mines, so we're gonna just sleep five times. And then we have three days to reach level 15 in the mines, and we need to forge at least 12 forgeables. So we will be skipping the intro. I don't think any of this matters, but it does. We probably want normal mine rewards. We could use a seed, but I'm going to leave it random. The forest farm, I think, makes the most sense for this challenge, because you can get forgeables on it. We'll call this the pyramid farm. Thing will be forgeables. A capital F, ideally. No, I'm not backspacing that one. Anymore. I can't do it. <laughs> I missed an E. There we go. I thought I crashed for a second. Alright, so I am going to set my options, but I, I won't do anything else. I think this is all we need. No, UI scale goes down. Okay. I think that's all I needed to do. This can go up a little. That's probably really quiet. I don't know why these are down so far. So I usually play with my headset turned up more. Uh, I'm not even going to take these. In fact, there's probably no reason for me to take those in general. I'm trying to think to... Well, let's skip. Let's skip five times, so that's one. It's two. Three. Four. And five. So I'm thinking it might make sense to make a chest for inventory space. Uh, this doesn't make any sense to do. So something that's interesting in Stardew is that the most efficient way to get wood, if I want my first chest, is just to cut the tops of trees and not actually cut the stumps. Oops, and I say that kind of- well now I should cut this, but that might not be true, but... And I think I'm going to spend this day setting up to go to the mines, and then the next two days clearing the mines. So literally all that's going to entail is uh, getting a chest, throwing all my tools in it, and then going to get forgeables. And I think that's all I should need to do. What do I need to go get forageables? Don't care about the hoe. I guess we want these. I think they go in this order. So we'll go south first to look for spring onions. Actually, we should go to the left of the farm. The reason I chose this farm is because forageables can spawn over here. We have a dandelion, but I believe this is the one that doesn't give us energy. 
No, okay. Daffodil is the one that doesn't give us energy. Yeah, the game is really quiet. Turn this up a little more. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Right about there. I might be underestimating how long it's gonna take, but I'm pretty sure given like this forgeable run, I can do 15 floors across two days. I feel like time's not going to be much of an issue. So it's like only if stamina is an issue. What did I need? 12 forgeables? Yeah. So that's two. Or uh, three, sorry. Oh, this is a good haul here. Seven more, so that's ten. I only need five more forgeables. There's one right here. Two. I feel like... I feel like I got pretty good luck on forgeables. Like, I only need one more now. And there's a uh, horse radish here. That's already fifteen. Oh, and I need a 12, not 15. I need 15 floors in the mine. I think we're going to be totally fine. We might get this done in one day tomorrow. I'll probably have time to get some of the mining in today. So yeah, I think this is only going to take two days. I was going to visit the beach. But I actually don't think I need to now. Oh no, we don't need daffodils, and we don't even have to pick up more forgeables. The neat thing about sleeping three days at the start too is you'd think that's bad for picking up forgeables, but it actually doesn't matter. So all forgeables stay until Sunday, which we could actually get more tomorrow on the way to the mine. It's a lot of daffodils. But yeah, forging kind of accumulates during the week in Stardew, and then on Sunday, it resets. Leaks are really good. I think they're 40 energy. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god, there's a morale here. That's huge. It's not that big. Pretty big. So I'm actually gonna store some stuff. Uh, we won't need the axe anymore. We won't need this anymore. We do have a clear path over here. It's good. Another horse radish is very good. It's not that good, actually. Okay, actually, horse radish is the worst for a jewel. <laughs> I take it back. It's pretty bad. I don't think it's worth checking over to the right. Let's just do this. 
Okay, so let's get through these first, probably. Something like this. I don't actually have the mod that tells me the daily luck. But we have a bunch of energy we have to use today no matter what, so we might as well try to get five floors. I think I think we can get five floors, probably. That might be pushing it. Oh, there's a thing. Yeah, you should probably always check that. It's actually pretty slow to kill slimes. It's um, somewhat inefficient. The only reason you would really fight enemies is if you're low on stamina, but we're actually fine on stamina. Those guys are worth it though, because they die in one hit. Kind of terrible at aiming the pickaxe, apparently. Yeah, so that's five floors on day one. This is only going to take us two days. If we get super lucky, we could finish it today, but I don't foresee that happening. If we did a smaller foraging run, maybe. There's kind of no point, though. Yeah, like, we're not going to have energy without eating, so I'm just going to leave. We'll just do 10 floors tomorrow. I'm gonna trash this because that might prevent the Gus cutscene. Which doesn't actually cost us any in-game time, but uh, it'll save me a few seconds in real life. So I'm just going to waste the rest of this day and sleep. No, we still got it. I shouldn't have mined the copper. Wait, I didn't, did I? Did I? Did I really get five from just randomly hitting rocks? So there could, in theory, be more forage on this path today. There's not the... The bus stop, I think, is better for forage, but this is the way that we went. I am going to check down here, and I am rewarded with a horseradish. The worst forageable. <laughs> I think we have enough energy to do 10 floors. We... Probably have overkill, actually. I definitely could have done this faster. <laughs> I'm gonna take out this one as well. That's why... I think this one can have a ladder. It does. This one probably can have a ladder. I suppose I should go check. What 
What am I doing? <laughs> so these light gray stones here take two hits with the basic pickaxe. Which is why I'm avoiding them. They do give more mining EXP though, and later on they actually take one hit. Even on the lower floors, whereas the higher floors uh, are going to end up taking more than one hit. Got a ladder. <laughs> Yeah, this was actually, like, exceptionally easy, as it turns out. These, like, don't matter at all, but I might as well. I guess it'll matter if I get swarmed. This floor is a freebie, there is always a staircase at the end. I think. Mm -hmm. We don't need the coal. <laughs> a waste of time. This floor sometimes has a staircase. Not today though. Potentially true that every floor can spawn a staircase, but I feel like I see it more often on some floors. Oh, this was unlucky. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Okay. One more. Doesn't look like we have a freebie. Yeah, no. We'll make our way over to this guy and knock him out. Very slowly. floors and not only did I get at least 12 consumables forageables I uh, still have more than 12 in my inventory in fact I didn't eat any and I did it in two days instead of three so as expected this was very free and we will move on to one step from Eden which should be um, probably harder because this one was trivial but pretty easy still <laughs>